Hi, everyone. This is Chris Maxey with Wellspire Advisors. We're back for a July edition of Markets in Two Minutes. And we wanted to talk to something that I think everyone is, is feeling very acutely, which is the price of retail gas, as well as the price of crude oil. So what you see here is retail gas prices going back to December of last year. And we came into the year around three and a half dollars a gallon. But we very quickly saw that number drop, jump over five dollars a gallon. Now, that was a result of a couple of things. Obviously, the uh, impact from Russia and Ukraine and the conflict that's going on there has been felt around the globe. But also demand has been quite high, right? There, there has been a significant amount of demand for travel and um, you know, people getting back out on the road in the, the course of the last 12 and 18 months. What we have seen happen, though, is as retail gas prices got to $5 a gallon, that number has begun to trend down. And the primary reason that it is trending down is because demand is beginning to drop. Now, I would also encourage people to read up on one of the things the federal government has been doing, which is through the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. That's the facility that the government manages, uh, which can control something on the order of six to 700 million barrels of oil. And when there are stresses in the market and stresses in the economy, the government taps that facility and releases that into the economy to try and manage prices. So far this year, the government's managed to release about 100 million barrels of oil, and that has brought down prices, both at the retail and, and at the uh, crude level. And so that's one of the interesting things that's been going on is that the government has been working very actively to, to support prices. Now, the other thing that I, I would highlight is that as we think about what companies are doing, so what is corporate America doing, we can see here the crude oil rig count versus the WTI crude price. And you see there's a very strong relationship in those two things, such that as prices rise, the rig count rises as well. That's simply a function of companies being able to extract more money you know, as, as the, the price is higher. Now, what's happening more recently is that that number is coming up more slowly, which you know, being the, the rig count, that number has grown somewhat slowly since the end of 2020. And that's simply a reflection of companies having been quite hurt when they overproduced in the mid-20-teens. But there is good news here, which is that it is rising, right? We've seen the rig count grow from 200 to 600 more recently, but each of those rigs is more productive than it was a couple of years ago. Today, an average rig will produce about a million barrels per day, whereas in 2015, that number was only 200 to 250,000. So there is relief on the horizon. We have seen prices come down. The government is doing what it can to control prices, but also at the corporate level, we do see companies that are, are producing more. So that, that is good news. We'll continue to keep an eye on this and, and you know understand the ramifications, but we, we hope that you found this interesting. And if you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thank you.